everyone, Arian here from See You Soon Travel. Today I'm bringing you to the southern coast of New Brunswick to the Fundy Trail Parkway. This 30 kilometer parkway runs right along the coastline giving you spectacular views of the Bay of Fundy. But this isn't just a driving experience. There are hiking trails, lookouts, waterfalls, observation decks, and more. So in partnership with Destination New Brunswick, I'm gonna take you through the parkway and give you an overview of everything that you can experience to easily spend a full day here. Now, before I get started, make sure you've subscribed to my YouTube channel and you've hit that notification bell. Once you've entered the parkway, the first thing you're gonna to come to is Fox Rock Lookout. Now there are 20 different lookouts spread out all across the park, but this is your first chance to take a look at the Bay of Fundy. Trail Parkway is home to four unique waterfalls, some of which do require a bit of a hike to get to, but the easiest one to visit is Fuller Falls. You'll follow a, a really short path from the parking area and you can either view the falls from an upper observation deck or you could take the cable ladders down to the lower observation deck to get an even closer view of the falls. Next up is something you do not want to miss, the Walter Glen Gorge Observation Deck. There are about 15 observation decks spread out throughout the park and they're located just off the parkway so they do require either a small hike or a small walk to get to. And the Walter Glen Gorge is truly spectacular. They've taken what used to be a strenuous multi-hour hike and have turned it into a 15 minute modest hike. Worth the effort and totally worth the views. Spanning over 60 meters wide, the Walton Glen Gorge has been dubbed the Grand Canyon of New Brunswick. It was created by a glacier that flowed into the Bay of Fundy over a thousand years ago. The views from the Walton Glen Gorge observation deck help give you a sense of the size of the gorge and if you look closely, directly across from the observation deck is Walton Glen Falls, the second highest waterfall in New Brunswick. About halfway through the park, you'll find the Interpretive Center. It's a place where you can use the washroom, pick up some snacks for purchase, or some souvenirs at the gift shop. But it's also a great place to come and learn about the history of the area. Between the late 1800s to about the 1950s, Big Salmon River was home to a thriving logging, fishing, and shipbuilding community. The Interpretive Center showcases some original artifacts and old photographs from this period and staff are on hand to answer any questions. Afterwards, take a walk down to Big Salmon River, walk across the 84 meter suspension footbridge and explore the banks of the river. Across from the Interpretive Center is the Cookhouse. This replica style building is where the lumberjacks would have come to enjoy a meal, either to pick one up to take out for the day or to come back and relax after a hard day's work. Beside the Cookhouse, you'll also find the Heritage Sawmill the period accurate machinery displays what a portable sawmill would have looked like. Now, the cookhouse is also a place to come and pick up something to eat. So if you didn't pack a picnic, pop in here and grab yourself a picnic lunch that you can take with you out into the park and enjoy anywhere that you like. It comes complete with snacks, fruits, sandwiches, drinks, and dessert.
And lastly, you can't forget about the beaches. There are a number of beaches here that you can check out and one that I recommend is Long Beach. When the tide is fully out, Long Beach can stretch up to half a kilometer wide. It's really impressive. But the beach is still just as enjoyable even when it's not fully low tide. All right, and there's your overview of the Fundy Trail Parkway. There's a lot to see, there's a lot to do. So pack a lunch or pick up a lumberjack picnic from the cookhouse and make a full day of it. I wanna give a big thank you to Destination New Brunswick for partnering with me on this video. If you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you soon.